Jeremiah 17, 14 Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for you are my praise. Jeremiah 33, 6 Behold, I will bring it to health and healing, and I will heal them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security. 1 Peter 2.24 He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Psalm 41.3 the Lord sustains him on his sickbed. In his illness, you restore him to full health. Psalm 147 verse 3 He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Proverbs 17.22 A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. James 5 verses 13 to 16 Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing psalms. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Confess your trespasses to one another, and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. 3 John 1 verse 2 Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. Exodus 15.26 If you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in His eyes, if you pay attention to His commands and keep all His decrees, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Isaiah 53 verses 4 to 5 Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Jeremiah 30 verse 17 But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. Deuteronomy 32 verse 39 See now that I myself am He. There is no God besides me. I put to death and I bring to life. I have wounded and I will heal, and no one can deliver out of my hand. Isaiah 38 verses 16 to 17 You restored me to health and let me live. Surely it was for my benefit that I suffered such anguish. In your love you kept me from the pit of destruction. You have put all my sins behind your back. Isaiah 57 verses 18 to 19 I have seen their ways, but I will heal them. I will guide them and restore comfort to Israel's mourners, creating praise on their lips. Peace, peace to those far and near, says the Lord, and I will heal them. Jeremiah 33 verse 6 Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people 
and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. Philippians 4 verse 19 And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. Isaiah 33 verse 2 Lord, be gracious to us. We long for you. Be our strength every morning, our salvation in time of distress. John 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30 Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Isaiah 40 verse 29 He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Psalm 107 verses 19 to 21 Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and He saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Psalm 30 verse 2 Lord my God, I called to you for help and you healed me. Psalm 34 verses 17 to 22 the righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. He protects all his bones, not one of them will be broken. Evil will slay the wicked. The foes of the righteous will be condemned. The Lord will rescue his servants, and no one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. Psalm 103 verses 2 to 4 Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. Psalm 6 verse 2 Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am faint. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are in agony. Psalm 41 verses 2 to 3 The Lord protects and preserves them. They are counted among the blessed in the land. He does not give them over to the desire of their foes. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed and restores them from their bed of illness. Psalm 41 verse 4 I said, Have mercy on me, Lord. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. Psalm 147 verse 3 He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 
You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil; my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 30 verses 10 to 11. Hear, Lord, and be merciful to me. Lord, be my help. You turned my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. Psalm 73 verse 26. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Philippians 4 verses 4 to 7. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds. In Christ Jesus, Father, I pray for the person who is watching this video right now. I ask in your divine power to heal them from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. Remove every sickness, remove every disease, remove anything that causes their body not to function in the way that you created. And designed it. I pray that their body will be refreshed and recharged. I break and I rebuke any sickness in their body in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Father, that on the cross you were wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon you, and by your stripes we are healed. So heal your people now, Lord. I thank you for deliverance, and I thank you, O oh God, that you will be glorified in their healing. In Jesus' name, Amen.